they said he was covered. Did you get an explanation on that play? Yeah, the um, the the two receivers, the slot receiver and the, and the wide receiver Donovan, uh, they said were both on the line of scrimmage. Okay. And uh, I think it was Nico. Um, Donovan was supposed to be on. Nico was supposed to be off, and Nico was off, but he signaled that he was on. And uh, so that uh, you know that was that's something we've addressed. Uh, having we're close, really close on another time where we had receivers moving, not getting set yet, and we had a motion taking place, which two men, you know, more than two people, two or more in motion is is a foul too. And that was really <clears throat> that was really close. So. Addressing some of those, uh, some of those things. On the left, Larry. In what game? In what ways is this game an opportunity to kind of see where your team is, how it's improved against a quality opponent like Iowa? Well, uh, well, definitely. Um, if you can play two really good games in a row, I mean that would be a trend in my mind. Three or more would become a habit. So uh, trying to cement that as a it's a goal for us, and a, that's where we want to be, you know, consistently good. And I were just early thoughts on, on that and what they have on both sides of the ball. Yeah, they, uh, they're consistently good. Uh, have been for, for many years, and uh, probably the thing that strikes you the most about them is that they're consistently really good at all three phases. Good at... Uh, Good and experienced, and and uh, good and consistent. Uh, with the way that the um, the game has evolved, where college has influenced the, the NFL, how much do you think your NFL experience, you know, coaching, is still as valuable as maybe it was when you first came to Michigan? I, I don't know how much. Carlo Kemp comes from almost a bigger football family than you came from. Mm -hmm. Talk about what you can sense from him as a result of that, and you know some of his, his relatives as well. As you say, uh, you know, the Pagano family, uh, from grandfather to uncles, uh, you walk into their house, I mean, it's, it's around the dinner table, and football talk, <coughs> pictures that hang on the wall, or, Football pictures, uh, their their family, their friends, their their experiences. I mean, Carlos had that, and his brother have had that their whole lives. That's uh, how valuable is that? I don't exactly know, but uh, a lot. And uh, he's he's uh, doing a tremendous job. I mean, uh, he's one of our real staunch leaders on the team, and uh, his play is in the effort that he gives. Each game, you know, just he knows. He's very, he was taught that from the time he could, he could toddle.